you guys, if you watch my other videos, you've uh, seen where we picked this microwave up. And the, uh, the only thing wrong with it was the fuse was bad in it. And I looked uh, around online to see what the, you know, my best options were to, uh, to sell this. Knew they run anywhere from 179 to 199 and which is not too bad, but used, you know, you're most of the time in market, you're going to be looking at half the price. So I'm looking somewhere between, you know, a hundred bucks down to as low as, uh, $75. But, you know, I looked online at some of the parts and stuff, and that's what made me, uh, decide to scrap and part this microwave out. And I want to show you, uh, just exactly what we're going to do there with that or what we did do and uh, how you can make a, a tremendous amount of money uh, off of parts from appliances then you can scrap them so uh, we'll take this down and what you first thing you need to do with your appliance is identify uh, what kind it is obviously and ours is a GE they either call them under the counter microwaves or over the range microwaves and ours is an over the range microwave and I just simply went on Google with the picture and identified the you know what it looked like and with the options that were on it and ours wound up being a JVM 3150 DF WW so we took that model number and we're going to take this down and we're going to scrap it and part it out and I'll show you uh, the results. Our first part we're going to harvest to sell is this uh, plastic screen you see here. Our vent or grill. It had uh, three screws across the top of it. And what you do there is once you take those screws out you just slide this to the side Oh, might have to open the door. Slide that to the side, and it comes right out. Now, one thing you want to do to increase the value of your parts is take your screws there, and take you some masking tape, and tape your screws somewhere on the inside of your part. You know, you can put it on this back wall somewhere. Don't put it on the front because sometimes tape will leave a, a residue on there to make it look uh, dirty. Now, ideally, whoever you're selling your parts to will be able to use the screws out of their original microwave, but it increases the value of your part if you put the original screws with it just in case, uh, you know, he drops one down the uh, heater vent or something like that. He's got a replacement screw. So... Let's keep going. Our next item, we'll be getting the uh, motor that turns the uh, glass plate on the, the bottom. And what you do is take your screws out of the bottom on the four corners. Just fold that to the front. And you'll see one screw there. So we'll take that screw out. See if I can go ahead and get it with a small screwdriver here. Nope, it's going to take a little larger screwdriver. I think we can get it out with the drill here. There we go. Get that out. That's as quick as that is. And just uh, work this plug off the end of it. And that's our next part. And again, we want to find where that little screw went there because we want to tape the screw to our motor. Alrighty, we'll continue. The next uh, part we want to work on is our door. And what you do is just take a like a flat uh, putty knife and you just want to work around in these grooves and pop this plastic piece on the inside out. And we'll work that all the way around, and that's going to expose our hardware in our door. Okay, now that we've got that uh, 
plastic shroud on the inside removed. What you just do is uh, support your door from underneath. And what you want to do is lift up on this and release it. And what we're going to do now is remove that valuable handle. Now you can sell your door in one piece. That would be an option, but I've seen that you, uh, you make a little bit more money selling the pieces out by the parts. So they got two screws there. We got one loose already. Get our other one lined up here. Got those screws loose. Again, want to. There is the handle. And again, we're going to uh, tape our uh, mounting screws to our handle. We also have the door. Now, the door, as you can see here, from having this thing moved around, is uh, scratched up uh, on the bottom of it. But we've got some white enamel epoxy. We're going to buff that down a little bit, and uh, or sand it down a little bit, paint it, and buff it out. So there's two more parts. Let's keep moving. We're taking all our screws out of our case on the back. And on the sides and you just push it back off of this retainer there and you want to come up here to this clip or this uh, brace piece where the vent goes and just pull that back that's going to free up your power cord and now we're ready just to lift this case off now I haven't seen any value in the case or anything so uh, and there's no value in that ant either but uh, this case will just go to our shred pile Okay, we've removed our case. Next thing we want to do is remove our power cord and uh, get the sun out of the way. Take our drill, release the uh, ground, and our microwave's not on top of it. Yep, we're on top of it. That will uh, give us our uh, power cord. And we're not going to scrap it for the copper. That's just another piece of our parts. Okay, we're back around to the back of our microwave for parts. Take this screw here out. Again, we want to keep hold of that screw because we want to tape it to our part. And what we're going to be doing now is releasing the squirrel fan for the top of the vent. Right over here is our plug. Unplug that and our squirrel fan should just lift right out. Yep. And there's our squirrel fan, our next part. Our next part we're going to harvest is the... Uh, touch screen control and we, again we'll just take this screw out here and once you take that screw out you just lift this up and it falls right off and uh, go back here on the back side release your wiring next part okay we've taken out our mounting screws three there so we are ready to remove the cooling fan mechanism just uh, take the wires out of their clip there unplug it and just uh, work its way out now that is the uh, cooling fan assembly part for our microwave. The next part we will need to remove is our transformer part. Now notice it has an electrical charge warning on it. 
So you want to make sure that your microwave hasn't been used in about a week before you attempt to uh, remove anything. So we'll unplug this, unplug this. Take our wires loose here. Well, have to get the assistance of our trusty dusty screwdriver. There we go. And we will unscrew the capacitor. Now we can work our capacitor around there, set it there, and then we have four screws on the back and we'll take those loose next. Okay, our last piece we'll be harvesting is the magnetron. Well, and it has <laughs> two screws, one right there and one right here, and you can take those out with a Phillips head screwdriver that will stay in your drill. Mine will not. So we'll get that removed and then we'll set all this aside. And what you have left is your case with some plastic pieces on it, uh, which will all go into your shred steel. So let's get our parts lined up and see what we're gonna make. Okay, this is our parts breakdown. Now some of these things went for way more than what I thought they would and some uh, just went for the, the buy it now price. Our uh, grill, as you see here, with the screws, sold for $14. Our magnetron sold for $31. Into in the shade there. The cap sold for $21. The door ring that you see here, the first thing we, uh, we took off the back side of that door, sold for $14. The door handle there that you see, uh, so for 21, the squirrel fan for 24, uh, the control uh, touchscreen scroll uh, control for the front really surprised me at 49 dollars. Uh, the fan assembly 11, the door screen and shell itself uh, so for 26. And I don't have a picture of it because I've already uh, seen it on its way, but the glass plate that was on the inside of the microwave uh, uh, sold for $21. The plate motor that we took off with the screws getting ready to go out sold for $14. And one thing that really surprised me that I'd actually taken and putting in the, the shred was the uh, screen and filter that I thought was just aluminum. Uh, done a little more research, that thing was actually carbon. Uh, so where you could, uh, you know, use the squirrel fan and the vent inside your house without it being vented to the outside. Those things sell new for 85 bucks, and we sold ours for uh, 35 So all in all, our parts came up to $281, and our scrap was uh, $2.31. So we parted out that microwave we got on the side of the road for $283.31. Surprising? Yes, very. I mean, it's almost worth the money if you could keep, uh, you know, the parts. Like I said, these things sell for new for about $199 is the most I've seen, and that was at our local Lowe's. And for a $281, you know, you're looking at almost $82 profit. You know, if, if you could guarantee the, the sales of the, of the parts, it would be worth it to you to go to Lowe's and, uh, you know, buy these things and part them out. But it just goes to show you a little research and uh, knowing what you've got to make sure you made the most money. So if you see one of these newer microwaves out, pick it up on the side of the road, come back home, do your research, part it out, and get the most you can out of it. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, that's a little dark, but happy scrapping.